But the chocolate season, 40th and Old Genie, or order ahead online at thechocolateseason.com. Hey there, fellas. It's your girl, Jordan, with Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Women may be complicated, but I make sure buying jewelry isn't. Your gal has a style, and you can figure this out. Is she more of a classic necklace kind of gal, or does she rock the boho chic vibe with layers of delicate bracelets? This is crucial intel. Not trusting your intel? Stop in the store and we'll sort out the details. I promise to make this super easy. Until next time, this is Jordan at Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Happy shopping, guys. Hi, everyone. Kendall Warnock, A1 Automotive in downtown Lincoln. Spring is here. Summer is fast approaching. With weddings, vacations, and weekend getaways on your mind, do not let car issues prevent you from getting where you need to be. Car problems shouldn't be something that you put up with. Let us get you back on the road in comfort and safety. We diagnose all makes and models from Porsches to Hondas, Toyotas, and Chevrolets. We fix a variety of issues with all of them with our talented techs and our experienced staff. A1 Automotive at 11th and L, downtown Lincoln. Always honest answers. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, Garage Doors, and more. When you were a kid, clubs were cool. Robotics Club and Space Club and stuff like that. But what do adults get? Book clubs and quilting clubs? Nah, forget that. How about margarita clubs and old-fashioned clubs? Get to Upside Bar and Lounge for the best clubs in town. Try all 10 varieties of Upside Margaritas or Old Fashions and take home a free souvenir glass. Grab the whole crew and pair it with Taco Night on Mondays or Whiskey Wednesdays. Upside Bar and Lounge at 29th and Pine Lake. Cover more acres with a pre-owned sprayer or planter from Landmark Implement, your local John Deere dealer. We offer one of the area's largest selections of used sprayers, applicators, planters, and seeders. Through the month of April, take advantage of fixed rate financing as low as 4.5% for up to 60 months or an eight-month interest waiver. Visit your local Landmark location or view our complete sprayer and seeding inventory online at LandmarkImp.com and experience the Landmark difference. Not many businesses can say they've made it 60 years, but Madsen's Bowling and Billiards can. With 12 bowling lanes in the biggest pool room in Nebraska, where else would you go to enjoy an afternoon or evening? There's a great daily specials like $2 Tuesdays, games of bowling, shoe rentals, draft beers, and tacos, all just $2 each. Have a delicious burger at EJ's Lounge before or after your bowling or pool session, and you'll leave satisfied. Madsen's Bowling and Billiards at 47th and Dutton. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today. We'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds. Happening high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with calm winds and a low around 40. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild temperatures. Napping high around 70. I'm meteorologist Kyle Fleckett for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you're passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America. This is Old School. Sponsored by the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese. Broadcasting veteran Derek Pearson. 
when you find something that moves them, that makes them smile, celebrate it. That's your task. That's your superpower. Nebraska Football Hall of Famer, Jay Foreman. Rifles a pass. It was tipped. It's picked off by Foreman. He's at the 15. Graham, five. He'll score. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. What up? We are here. Old school. Jay Foreman, DP, Austin Orman. We are live in effect on this beautiful Tuesday, 1040 O Street. We are brought to you by the Mercado, certified Piedmontese, special ingredients of Butcher Shop, two Lincoln locations, 84th and Havelock, 30th and Yankee Hill. Without further ado, welcome DP back into the fold. What's um, good, fam? What's good? What's there's good? a lot of stuff going on, man. It, listen, as much as you know, things seem to hold pat, come Sunday night, South Carolina and Don Staley pushed through when an uh, undefeated season um, national champion Next thing you know, the confetti just getting sweeped up there. And uh, I think they were in Cleveland or whatever. And the next thing you know, it started to hear some rumblings of uh, Calipari, John Calipari. I think this is the news of the week. This is a, this is a monumental. This is a, when you think about this right now, two of the biggest and iconic coaches have, well, Nick Saban stepped down and John Calipari is, is leaving to, to go to, obviously, it seems like Arkansas. And the reason why I think it's it's huge because I I will never forget this. I, and I and I always talk to my you know good friends at Tennessee that I played with, Sean Bryson, and uh, some other you know Tennessee fans. And you know this is after obviously you know Frank Solich was fired or whatever that you know supposedly wasn't doing a good enough job. And we were in a little bit of our downturn here in Nebraska. And I remember uh, one 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 of my uh, old friends that was a Tennessee fan calling up and just going ham on Philip Fulmer. Yeah, he's he the program is stale. We need it and this is what he said. We need another voice. The, the voice isn't isn't, you know, ringing, you know, he, the voice was only good when Peyton was there and Teton Martin and all that, right? And I remember telling him, "Be careful what you ask for. Be careful what you wish for." And Tennessee, obviously I think they're probably in good hands right now, but it's taken quite some time, right? And it's a and I, I view them as, as somewhat of a blue blood football program. And this is, and I definitely um, view Kentucky basketball as a blue blood program because you had Rick Pitino and John Calipari. You hit home runs with your last two iconic big name coaches. There's not many of them left. Who are you going to get to fit into that? Let's call it suit on that sideline with that type of pressure and those type of expectations. Because the thing that was appealing to Kentucky brass about John Calipari is because he's instant credibility and energy into your program. That means he's stepping in and he's ready to go. You know what I mean? Where it's not, he's not thinking, okay, well, I got to go recruit. I got to really change the culture and all that. Kentucky's not trying to hear that. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they're used to winning, even though they obviously, that's part of the reason why he's gone. And uh, it seemed like when you list, when I went back, I always went, I went back and listened to when the AD said, okay, we're going to keep him. And he's like, we're in this together. We're married. And John Kyler Perry's like, do you argue with your wife this much? That let me know we're here. I really don't respect what you're doing, but we're here. And it, cause he, he, I remember when we talked about a DP and I, was, I said, he, he's going to take it disrespectful that you even question and that he needs to be here. Mm -hmm. And the fact that the AD actually molded for 24 hours, you lost him there before he was even gone. Now it's official. Um, now they can start, you know, trying to recruit new coaches or whatever. He's gone. I'm assuming he's going to be in Fayetteville here by the end of the night, <laughs> getting that chizzy. Uh, you got dollars? I holler. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's uh, I Jay. This is where where again people people think that nil and transfer portal will change things uh, negatively. I think negatively is relative to what what you think this is about. We're yeah. going to see people in full. We're going to see programs in full, right? Yeah. Not who you think they are. Yeah, but who they actually are, and then you're going to find out that some programs aren't exactly the program. You're going to find out that some coaches aren't the coach 
They're yeah. not the, 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 the hallmark folks. There's three names. You talked about Kentucky. Yep. Three names. And, and you can tell me what you think of them, Jay Foreman, but this was on the, on the console that, that I was on today. You ready for this? I am ready. You ready? I'm ready. What can you imagine Kentucky? And I'm going to do them in, in, in descending order from three to one. Okay. From three to one that Kentucky wants to win. They think they have talent and they think they have resume. So they just need drum roll in their minds. They need Tony Bennett. No, he handsome enough, but you know, if you want checks to continue to flow at Kentucky, if you can win at Virginia with whatever talent Virginia has, yeah, can you win there? Yes. Choice number two. Yeah, he can win, but he got to score some points. Choice number two. Well, he he'll have dudes in Kentucky that he didn't have in Charlotte. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Choice number two. Brother Shaka. Shaka Smart. Who keeps it moving, keeps the train moving. Look, see, I didn't think about him. Texas. I didn't think about him, but I can see it though. Cause he, cause here's a, here's why it might be shock smart. might be ready. Bald head shock smart. No good hair. Shaka. Yes. See the see, transition. It's the transition. The transition. They get scared of a brother with bald head. He, and he shock ain't did much up, but this big. Right. And he did it up in Marquette, and you talk about the energy, and they've done it before. Listen, Kentucky, one thing, listen, Kentucky outside of Lexington and where there's regular, like, a little bit of diverse population, listen, yep. they ain't liking Say it. They ain't liking some brothers. Say it. But when it comes to that basketball, Tubby Smith did it, and they was trying to run Tubby out when he won a championship. I will never forget it. They dogged that man. So bad. in Minnesota, though, Jay. I know. Hey, but he had to go to Georgia. They said, listen, get it, get it. Listen, your standards are either you win a national championship or you got to go. He's like, all right, I got to go then. So I think they could do shock. And perfect, the perfect box checker look checks every box possible. Jay Wright. That'd be my number one choice. Right, I'd to, like to. I, I would. It's the I would, only I, one he would take. It's the only one he would take, and to get him out of the booth with a program again. The question: If you can win at Villanova, Villanova yeah, it's going to be real easy in Lexington. The check writers would write whatever check is. Think about. But he this. said he ain't leaving. Jay, I like Jay. Ain't Wright, nobody though. leave until that check call. And wait a minute, wait a minute. You you can you can put that into my account right now. You can you can Venmo this. Wait wait a minute. We could. I still <laughs> I still was I still am shocked or don't understand why he retired. I think you know we're what about I mean. To find, I think we're about to find out. No, Jay Jay Jay. Yeah. Right. I, I still yeah, I, I think like we're about I, to find understand, out. I understand his reasons, right? He, you know, it's a grind. I'm sure. You know, it's a very hard situation in Vill Villanova. He didn't want to coach anywhere else. But the little I know of Jay Wright, he's done so much for the game, and he's phenomenal on TV. But you still ain't Jay Wright the coach. Is Jay Wright mild mannered Urban Meyer? No, Jay. You it, think, I, I don't think they're. I don't no, think they're in the same. They're universe. not even the same universe. He he has he has so few Urban Mike tendencies. Yeah. Urban okay, Meyer okay. just an a hole. Yeah, Urban just happened to win, and then he just got out of control. He's our Urbano Meyer right now. He's not Urban Meyer. Urban Meyer was the one that was at um, Utah. Utah. No, he, he's Urban, not Suburban Meyer. Yeah, right, Jay, <laughs> I don't think. I don't right, think. Jay, I, let's be clear. He has he has tendencies. I don't think. Jay, I don't think Jay Wright had the type of. I don't. He. I've never heard a story. I, I might be wrong. I, I was thinking mostly just in the the athletics sense. What do you mean? What do you mean, athletic career arc wise? One oh, like lower he, level, like one he, up, higher level, stepped away is the next step to come so back. Think, or is he done? Oh, you so personality you, stuff. I don't know. Either I, the guys I, I well think that, I, I think it's I'm in, saying career. I, I think it's in play and in full because he for it's Kentucky. It's we're not talking about Clemson or you're not you're not talking about Utah. You're talking about the best thing out there. It's and, like taking the in the ideal situation. If you fashion yourself as a coach, 
and Kentucky and all of its talent that exists. Listen, the back end of the bench at Kentucky is better than 95% of the country. Yeah, I, I mean, I, it would, <laughs> I think it'd be a good fit. It, it, this is, it, you know, it's this is huge for the AD. Um, you know, it's it's huge for him because, you know, a lot of people will tell you that are, you know, Calipari fans that you ran him up out of there. Um, you know, we got uh, Lemon off the text line. He says Jay Wright left for the same reason as Nick Saban, NIL on transfer portal. No, I mean, no. I mean, no. I'm sure that had something to do with it. That, that is not what Jay Wright is putting yeah. into the into the universe. That you know, is not I what mean, he sure is saying. You know, look, at the college basketball has changed since he left. I mean, because it has. It's changing as we speak. You now can transfer twice. But Jay did it. Jay, understand what Jay did. Jay was a development in action at, in Philadelphia. There, yeah. there was nothing natural about him turning Villanova into the program. Uh -huh, turn, yeah. Like, if there's nothing... That's the most organic thing that's happened yeah. in, in college basketball other than Shaka Smart at VCU, yeah. right? So him understanding that there was a tight window to his career. And remember, he Austin is right in the sense that it was what, what Urban said at Florida. And when it doesn't work for you, you have earned the right to make a decision yeah. to only take a step forward and up. Well, we know one, he's a, a basketball truest. Yeah. But he's also one of the few actual, when I say coaches, yeah. who will run his program from yeah. the tip to the top. Yeah. If he can do it in Philly. Oh, you can do it anywhere. Yeah. You, yeah they, they don't fits. have the resources and stuff like that. I mean, it's, it'd be a little change for him because he's going to be recruiting a different type of player. Um, it is will it, the, the 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 transfer portal and things will be different for him because it would affect it a, a place like Villanova and where it affected a place like Villanova he almost did a too he did too good of a job of developing guys so they didn't transfer up out of there they just went to the league he's talked about other jobs and why they didn't work since he retired he's been on air saying. Here's the ideal. Yeah. Here's the idea that if you're a coach, remove 90% of the things that can go wrong in a basketball program. Kentucky has done that for you. 90%, like, you know, there's support, you know, there's crowd, there's legacy, there's boosters, all those things. You know, you can get people to Lexington. You know, talent knows about you. Then you just have to develop talent to win games in actual yeah. games. Well, there's nobody better. Nobody yeah. better in college basketball at doing just that thing than Jay Wright. Yeah, it'd be a great fit. It'd be it's hard to get him off of that comfortable seat, though. It we we said that about Urban before he went to Ohio State, and then it was uh, okay. Urban had to do that. Like move like like yeah, there, there's the move. I I just think it's fascinating, right? That it'd be it's it's it, this right here. I mean. You know what? Let's let's take a break. We'll come back. We're gonna dive into more of this. Then we gotta give away trivia. Oh, we got an easy. You're not easy question. We got uh, stars tickets, supernova tickets to give away. I think it's interesting because as much as the pressure is on assuming Cal Perry when how fast he can get Arkansas up to whatever level they deem to be getting them up to. There's more pressure on this AD at Kentucky. This is a legacy firing. Let's say with Cal Perry, and it's gonna be a legacy hiring. And you're going to make or break this program, not forever, but in the short term. And let's not bury the lead that Arkansas isn't exactly a wasteland in bath college basketball. Not anymore, but no. But this, like, but but, like, you're, but you're going. You're not going in Arkansas with that locker room and the stuff that they had going on this year. Is not like going to Kentucky this year. He's got to. He's going to have to do something unless he just comes in and just extinguishes everybody. But they got good players, so it's. Yeah, hey, look, it's it's crazy. I'm sure that he 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 had hoped that he, that he was begged to stay. They said, "Nah, we're good." So we're, we're going to see how good <laughs> you are, and we're going to see how good he is. So with that being said, J. Former DP Austin, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Old School with DP and J. Download the mobile app and listen wherever you are on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Load up on meat and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havre. 
This week's special through April 9th is buy one, get one free on 8-ounce flat iron steaks, limit four per visit. Also, $1.50 off all Bachan's Japanese barbecue sauces. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations at 84th and Havelock and 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. Working at Continental in Lincoln isn't a job, it's a career. And right now, they've raised wages again, and they're hiring for production operators at $24.62 per hour, which grows to $28.97 per hour within three years. Skilled trade positions now start at $33.36 per hour, with opportunities to make more based on certifications. Continental also has salary jobs available and great benefits, plus medical and prescription costs at very low premiums. Dental, vision, and life insurance are offered at no premium cost to the associates with increased bonuses and vacation for new hires. To learn more or apply, go to ContinentalJobs.com with keyword Lincoln. Come work at Continental today. Do you need motivation to get to the gym on the weekend or even in general? Tune into the Movement Hour each Saturday from 10 to 11 a.m. Movement Academy owner Robert Kuhlman will host the show as he introduces new ways to stay in shape. The Movement Hour every Saturday morning from 10 to 11 a.m. on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. When you were a kid, clubs were cool robotics club and space club and stuff like that but what do adults get book clubs and quilting clubs nah forget that how about margarita clubs and old-fashioned clubs get to upside bar and lounge for the best clubs in town try all 10 varieties of upside margaritas or old fashions and take home a free souvenir glass grab the whole crew and pair it with taco night on mondays or whiskey wednesdays upside bar and lounge at 29th and pine lake hey there fellas it's your girl jordan with sarter Heyman jewelry Women may be complicated, but I make sure buying jewelry isn't. Your gal has a style, and you can figure this out. Is she more of a classic necklace kind of gal, or does she rock the boho chic vibe with layers of delicate bracelets? This is crucial intel. Not trusting your intel? Stop in the store and we'll sort out the details. I promise to make this super easy. Until next time, this is Jordan at Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Happy shopping, guys. Ironhide Construction is hiring. They're looking for hardworking, self-motivated individuals who are team players. Ironhide Construction has openings for an experienced project manager, estimator, apprentice, skilled laborer, and a rector or installer. They will train the right people and make sure you understand the position and requirements. At Ironhide Construction, it's own it, be honest, and do it right. Apply today and learn more about their other benefits at ironhideconstruction.com, where they're committed to you every step of the way. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. Restock your emergency kit, update your info with LES, and if you encounter an outage, report it at les.com slash report. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. Several irrigation contractors in Lincoln go out of business every year, leaving sprinkler system orphans begging for service. The folks at Judson Irrigation shed a tear for these little fellas. They've been coddling these orphans for more than 40 years. From redesign, repairing, replacing and restoring, remember the Judson Irrigation Orphanage. Call the Judson Irrigation Orphanage, 402-420-6277, or JudsonIrrigation.com. High schoolers, unleash your creativity and learn about potential careers in broadcasting at the Digital Expressions Media Camp. Have fun, make friends, and get hands-on experience with video and radio production June 9th through the 14th at the University of Nebraska at Kearney. 
Scholarships are available from the Nebraska Broadcasters Association, and spots are limited. Learn more at digitalexpressionscamp.com. That's digitalexpressionscamp.com. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. Back to Old School with DP and J on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. What up? We're back. Jay Foreman, DP, Austin Orman. We're diving into this, uh, what was a uh, historic day in, K- in Kentucky Wildcat basketball. Obviously, every, it started off with the loss to Oakland and the sniper that was. That's Who Kase then beat in the three-point shootout. Yeah, yeah, and walked it off on him, too. And then, next thing you know, John Calipari has decided to uh, look for other employment, and Kentucky is fine with it. I think this is a huge decision because... I, I will say this: the stronghold that Kentucky had in brand power, well, it lessened a little bit. Now, there, I still think basketball-wise, their brand power in the S- SEC is head and shoulders. But you lose a little bit. It's kind of like when you lost Nick Saban; you lose a bit of that brand power and that and that just stronghold. On at the end of the day, when it comes to a recruit, you're just going to go to Kentucky just because of it's Kentucky. Now he's in Arkansas. Now he has to do something different. He has to almost rebrand himself as well. He has to take some of the things that he maybe was going to change, which it seemed like that he was going to start changing some things because that's what he said. Okay, look, I see it. One and done isn't going to win me NCAA tournaments. I understand I need to do both. So I need to mix in some transfer portal guys. And what dude was like, holla, you know, see you. And Arkansas is like DP said before the break. It's not the cesspool. I think that Arkansas has been building towards this. I think Mike Anderson did a really good job. I think there were some things outside of his control. Obviously, what Arkansas has been notoriously known for, even back when Nolan Richardson was there, mm-hmm. that really stymied Mike Anderson of taking that program to the heights that he would have liked. And, and, I, and I was thinking, personally, thinking that he could possibly do, right? Obviously, maybe not to the heights of Nolan Richardson, but, you know, obviously – back to, you know, conference prominence. Then you got your boy Musselman. And I remember him, Bill Musselman, his dad, and then he would be running, Eric would be running around in an in empty target center, acting like a coach. Now he was had to build that program up. And they were a Sweet 16 team, right, Austin, I think within a year or two ago? Uh, yes, he, yeah. in his first five, his five years at Arkansas, two Elite Eights and a Sweet 16. Yeah, and so he had them in national prominence. But something went a little awry this year, DP. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. There was a little love, tri- love, love, love triangle in the locker room. <laughs> Jay it, <Foreman>. There was. <laughs> Am I right? It has been speculated. I have not seen. Okay. I won't speculate. I, you know, I, 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 I've, I've heard many of the same stories that you have. I won't Jay. speculate. Well, All no, no, saying, you they, can, they, you, they feel had, free to tell me what you've heard. Here's what they had. They had some culture issues that were not nor- normal cultural issues. Okay. You can do whatever you want. I don't care. Yeah. Um, And it really stymied. They were supposed to be a really good team this year. And it just didn't seem to work out. Beat Duke, though. Yeah, they beat Duke. I remember watching that game. They, they played like... That's where I thought, like, they were going to take the next step. And then they took three steps back. And for Musselman to move that quick for the USC job is odd to me. Now, granted, USC is going to be in the Big Ten. USC basketball doesn't fit Big Ten. You know what I'm saying? We're easy right now. For I would say I would I would probably like to think that Arkansas is above USC basketball. What's your opinion? Support. No. No support where they are right now, where they've been in recent history, right? Two sweet 16s and one elite eight. Two elite eights and one sweet yeah. 16. There you go. What, what, okay, but what we saw what USC was doing. 
This year? Yeah. Nothing. There, there was talent. Yeah. And there was an infusion of yeah, financial I, support. Yeah. And I think if Bronny James hadn't had his health scare, I think they would have been a lot better team. That, so that, right. That's kind of yeah. what they were built to do. Kind of in my mind, a lot of it's like if you have talented players, they're recruiting differently than they have, and money is moving differently than it has. I'm not sure outside of North Carolina that there is a basketball program in America that generates as much financial resource around it, regardless of record support. Are you saying the program of North Carolina or the state of North Carolina? The program. I would argue the one down the road does just as much. Dude. Well, yeah. who are you arguing yeah. for? You, U.S. or Arkansas? I'm saying if it's me and I'm given a choice between the two, I'm going to be in L.A. Well, that's because you want to kick it. <laughs> I'm done kicking it. No, that's because you want to kick it. I'm done you kicking it. No, because you don't want to be in Fayetteville where it's hot, it's humid. There's only 100,000 people there. Oh, you want to be in L.A.? Yeah. yeah it's just, it's, I got family down there. Yeah. I, don't want, I don't like going down there. Like, I know what it is. Mosquitoes, size of yeah, birds. Yeah, like, I, I know what it is. If in every. You go, what, what, bound, is it, what is it when you stick your arm in there and you get the big old cat? What's it called? Noodling? Yeah. DP and the, DP be on one of them shows. <laughs> stick his arm in there. I'm just like Cat Weave. Get him, boy. Yeah. Get him, boy. Gotta go get him, boy. <laughs> no, I. There are programs that underachieve. USC is certainly that. Yeah. But that's the sleeping giant of all basketball programs. Yeah, but they've been pretty consistent under uh Edfield though. They they've been to the tournament and yes, they have they had reached. Evan Mobley had yeah. um and, uh what's his name with the it, Hawks. When they had his brother too. Yeah. Um Evan was really yeah, good. Yeah, Evan but... was really good. He's with the with oh, um, um Onyeka on yeah. Kongwu. Yeah. They've had some good play. They probably haven't reached where they should have. Okay, here, USC under Andy Enfield, 16 and 17, 22 and 9, no tournament, 25 and 8, um, made an elite 8, 26 and 8, first round exit, 22 and 11, first round exit, 15 and 18 this year. You know, yeah. I think what you were, 12, I think 16, uh, here's the only thing, here's the thing that really, I guess, concerned me with USC. Okay. When Andy Enfield went, when he took the SMU job, and he pretty much said, the facilities, the support of for the basketball program, and SMU is going to be in the ACC. And and you know what, it, it, you know what, DP, it might be like something like with Calipari. He's been there for how many years, Austin? C- crazy. Like, Andy Enfield was hired at USC for the 2013-14. Yeah, so season. he's been there about 10, 11 years. So sometimes 10, 11 years in this day and age, right? Yeah. You know, you you have you'll have different booster cycles go through. And so, you know, his mm-hmm. message that was with the first, say, like, older booster, well, the, the younger booster that you handed your money down to, like, yeah, I don't want to hear it. So yeah. sometimes that voice can get stale. But now we're back to Arkansas. Before you do that, it's funny you bring up that 10-year mark because in his third year at Kentucky, John Calipari said he couldn't see himself staying at Kentucky for more than 10 years. His first 10 years, elite. Year 11, missed the tournament. Year 12, Missed the tournament. Year 13. Lost to Richmond. First round exit. Yeah. Year 14, second round exit. Year 15, first round exit. Yeah. So what? that 10-year mark is that line of demarcation that yeah. unknowingly Coach Cal predicted for himself. Yeah, and that one year they lost to Richmond in the NIT. Yeah. It was Robert yeah. Morris. Robert Morris. Yeah, even they, better. Yes. Yeah, yeah, even worse because the uniforms yeah. all look the same. Yeah. So I think back to Arkansas. I think as much as the athletic director – didn't go above and beyond for his brother. I think also Coach Cal was like, you know what? I need to try something else one more time. I do think this is is this is his last stop. Because I, here's why. As much as Jay Wright is great on TV, Coach Cal's just as great as too. So he, he, I think... I, I thought that this was the cycle run for Patino Calipari. Not so much Jay Wright. I thought Jay Wright would wait and let the 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 Behan. like I thought they would he'd wait for them to clear, and then he'd be the guy. Cause yeah, cause he's the youngest one. Right, he yeah. would be the guy, and 
privately those coach those those are conversations those coaches have. Right. So he knew there was a thing. Then it becomes a value thing. Is the right job available when you are ready to make that decision? But then after you make the decision, oh, here they come. And let me ask you this. <laughs> Can a job like Kentucky accelerate Jay Wright's timing? Oh. Because jo- this is where this is where these coaches now granted, when you're you know, financially secure, and then you're able to be on TV. I don't know. He's probably making, you know, good money being on TV because he's great on TV yeah. um, or in studio or whatever. Sometimes you can kind of all right, sit back and really choose it. But also, you also have to understand the decision makers and their mindset. As much as NIL and Transfer Portal has changed the landscape because of basketball, football, and every sport, the decision makers, it's changed them as well because now – they're not looking for, in some cases, program builders. They're one programs re-energizers. And sometimes they might just decide, you know what, Jay, they'll talk themselves out of not hiring it. Like if you have if you have a room full of Kentucky decision makers, you would think, okay, not if you had a hundred of them in there, or like just say 10, you would say e without a doubt, it should be nine or ten to oh, nine to one or ten to ten to vote. They might be sitting at like six and four and seven and three. Because you know what them, the other dudes, he's past his prime. Been out of the game. He didn't win that much this last year. Can he do it again? Does he want to do it again? And you got the dude that can do your pro. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do because, you know, Cal's supposed to be over, the, over there in Arkansas. The pressure's on him. The pressure's on Kentucky to rebound. At at So three years ago, four years ago, Jay Wright was making $2 million a year. At Nova. At Nova. Mm-hmm. Then he got bumped up to four. Then it got bumped to six. He's currently making one and a half. On TV? On TV. Mm-hmm. What do you think the number from Kentucky is going to sound like? Ten. Um, what were you Kentucky paying? Sports Radio is saying that the starting point with Dan Hurley is 11 a year for five to seven years. Now, if you are Jay Wright. So are you, going, are you coming in higher than that? If you, listen. <laughs> How many national titles you, does Jay Wright have? Two. Two. Okay, okay, but do you okay? Let me let me ask you guys this now before we go to break because we got we got we, we got and you guys think about it during break because we got to get trivia questions. Also, pick your choice; those two. Money, money. Who are you picking for eleven and a half? You Austin. guy that just won it, or the guy that you that that you seen win it in the past? If I'm so J, so Austin is is Calipari, and I'm Hurley, and we're gonna talk during the break and. We gonna set our number and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is, that's exact. That's exactly what they're gonna do. That's exactly what they do. Hey, what did he tell you? Eleven point two. Cool. I'll call you right back. My dude. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Matter of fact, we're gonna have the same agent be on a three way call. Hey, man. You're right. One on mute. One on live. Anyway, uh-huh. J Forbes and DP Austin will be right back. Watch Old School live on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. Old School with DP and J. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Several irrigation contractors in Lincoln go out of business every year, leaving sprinkler system orphans begging for service. The folks at Judson Irrigation shed a tear for these little fellas. They've been coddling these orphans for more than 40 years. From redesign, repairing, replacing, and restoring, remember the Judson Irrigation Orphanage. Call the Judson Irrigation Orphanage, 402-420-6277 or judsonirrigation.com. Hi, I'm Senator Bo Bowley. I was born and raised in Lancaster County, learning the value of hard work and grit at a young age. I built my own company, creating jobs right here in our community. I know that families and businesses in our community need lower taxes, lower cost of health care, and a great education. That's why as your senator, I helped pass the largest task and made the most significant investment in education in Nebraska history and worked to reduce the cost of health care. I'm Senator Bo Ballard, and I humbly ask for your vote on May 14th. Paid for by Ballard for Nebraska. Community means something different to everyone. But for me, it means cheering on those around you during the good times and helping them out during the tough times. 
I'm softball player Jordy Ball, and I've been blessed with the support of my friends, family, coaches, and community throughout my life. When looking for a bank to call home, it was easy to choose Midwest Bank. I never feel like just another customer, and they're proud to support their communities. They love what they do, and it shows. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Constructors is now hiring for all positions, with laborers starting at $23 and up based on experience. Constructors has immediate job openings for laborers, mechanics, bridge builders, operators, and drivers. Start your new career today. Constructors offers great pay, health, dental, and vision insurance, paid time off, paid holidays, and so much more. Join the crew today and be a part of Nebraska's oldest paving company dating back to 1908. For a complete list of openings and to apply online, visit ConstructorsLincoln.com. Hey, Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student-athletes. So go to 1890Nebraska.com, Choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. Spring is a time of new beginnings and trying new things. If you haven't tried Fear's Cheese Spread yet, the time is now. For parties for St. Patrick's Day and Easter, or celebrating the NCAA tournament with friends, there's no better dip to bring everyone together and celebrate something from Nebraska. Get to your local grocery store today and load up on Fear's Cheese Spread. No event or party is complete without it on your table. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. Restock your emergency kit, update your info with LES, and if you encounter an outage, report it at LES.com slash report. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today. We'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds. Afternoon high around 67. Tonight mainly clear with calm winds in the low around 40. And tomorrow we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild temperatures. And afternoon high around 70. I'm meteorologist Kyle Fleckett for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Alexa, play 93.7 The Ticket. Okay, playing 93.7 The Ticket. Alexa, turn down the lights. Dimming the lights. Alexa, order a pizza, the big one, all the toppings. Are you sure that's a good idea? Alexa, that's a lot of pizza for just one man. Alexa, just do it. Stop judging me, just do it. As you wish. Thanks, Alexa. You're my best friend. Back to old school with DP and J on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Well, we're back. Quick segment, J4 and DP. 
Uh, we're going to do our trivia questions as well. They're getting their picks. So for 11 and a half minutes, let's just say a smooth 12, just so we can get to the even number. Yep. Who's your choice? Hurley or Jay Wright? I'm going to empty the ATM for Jay Wright. Her- Hurley is good in the situation. Basketball blue blood. Like the family exists. It's, it's real. But for me, for Kentucky, and if you spend any time in Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky, you know the history, the legacy, and you also know the ghosts. And there are some ghosts. I don't know that the Hurley family is going to let him go there and deal with having dad and Bobby be around Kentucky. No. You you don't. No. <laughs> no. No. Because you run the highlight. You run the highlight. You're going to run the highlight all the time. <laughs> hey, gotcha. <laughs> so, yeah, Jay Wright. Who are you picking, Austin? Hurley. In a heartbeat. Love me some Jay Wright. I feel like Jay could do some good things at Kentucky. I feel like Louisville needs to make a run at Jay Wright. I think Kentucky, being the biggest, baddest program on the block, says, hey, new blood. You're pretty mm. good. We like your coach. Mm. He's coming with us now. He's See, my that's date. The thing. See, that's the thing. Here's the difference, right? I view Jay Wright more at Kentucky, Hurley at Louisville. They trying to be the bad boys. Mm-hmm. They got the Is bad. Is Hurley they, actually I, a bad I, boy? Do you I, just I, have that reputation? Oh, he, oh, he, 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 he yeah, yeah he's listen, he all the way off the yeah, chain. Yeah, yeah, that's, that. He that's, ain't changing, he just jersey all the way, he all the way off the chain. Like, the moment yes. he cuts up a, a, can, a Kentucky hoodie and yeah. leaves it raggedy, like, un, unshaved, yeah. And that's okay. what, okay. And Louisville okay. needs okay. that. They do. Patino had plenty of that. Yeah. So, yeah, I like those. But, but Chris Mack didn't, and he worked. Yeah, I know, man. I don't, that just, that just took a turn left, just. <laughs> In like you know what game it was. They got up twenty three on Duke in the second half on that Zion RJ it. Cam team. Yeah, lost it and it unraveled. That Louisville team was ranked number one under Chris Mack. And boosters will get you. You better not embarrass us on the TV. Mm-hmm. I, I what, just what know game was that that Frank that got t- taken off TV? USC at home, Texas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. Good night, I ring. Yeah. Uh, all right, we got some trivia questions here. We need the the first texter here, right? I, I, I've got a good one for you. Jay's I got an got, easy one. Jay's got an easy for, one for, for some you. stars tickets. Okay. What was John Calipari's record while at the head coach at the University of Massachusetts? You need the exact number of wins. Yeah, exact number of wins. There we go. Exact number of wins. Not overall career. Um, 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 when he was up there with my man Camby Land. Does it uh, does it count vacated wins? Or was that not till Memphis? <laughs> That's not till Memphis. <laughs> What's yours, D- ah, DP? That is funny. That is funny. That is really good, though. So we were talking Kentucky. And Austin, here's the here's the deal. So we know the legendary coaches of Kentucky. Adolph Rupp, Joe B. Hall, Eddie Sutton, Rick Pitino, Tubby Smith, John Calipari. I left a coach out. I left one coach out. Who is it? <laughs> Calipari, Tubby. Patino, Sutton, Joby Hall, Adolph Rupp. Who did I leave out? Mm. A good one. <laughs> it's a name. It's a, it's a something. <laughs> it's, it's a something. Do we want to hit break, get the answers on the other side? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to hit a break, come back. Uh, first texters in, give us the, give it, you get four tickets to the stars, and then what, how many tickets to the? Four. Four each. Four to Supernovas. J former DP Austin, we'll be right back. You're listening to Old School with DP and J. Download the mobile app and listen wherever you are on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM Firth, 93.7 The Ticket. Hi, this is State Senator Carolyn Bozin. As a state senator, wife, and mom, I believe Lincoln is a great place to work and raise a family. My husband Reggie and I are local family business owners and actively involved in our community. Last year, I voted for the largest property tax relief package in Nebraska history. 
property tax relief is important to every family, and I will continue to deliver more property tax relief to working families. This is Carolyn Bosin, and I am asking for your vote on May 14th. Paid for by Bosin for Legislature. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. Iron High Construction is higher. They're looking for hardworking, self-motivated individuals who are team players. Iron High Construction has openings for an experienced project manager, estimator, apprentice, skilled laborer, and a rector or installer. They will train the right people and make sure you understand the position and requirements. At Iron High Construction, it's own it, be honest, and do it right. Apply today and learn more about their other benefits at ironhideconstruction.com where they're committed to you every step of the way. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402-590-590. 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, Garage Doors, and more. What do you think of when you hear the chocolate season? Artisan chocolates? Of course, they have the best chocolates this side of the Atlantic. Friendly neighborhood coffee shop? Yup, they're that too. A nationally recognized top tier brunch spot? Waffle weekends, baby. And the place to grab a gift for literally any occasion? Everybody loves chocolate. See for yourself at The Chocolate Season, 40th and Old Cheney, or order ahead online at thechocolateseason.com. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today. We'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds. Napping high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with calm winds in the low around 40. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild temperatures. Napping high around 70. I'm meteorologist Kyle Fleckett for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Spring is a time of new beginnings and trying new things. If you haven't tried Fuhrer's Cheese Spread yet, the time is now. For parties for St. Patrick's Day and Easter or celebrating the NCAA tournament with friends, there's no better dip to bring everyone together and celebrate something from Nebraska. Get to your local grocery store today and load up on Fuhrer's Cheese Spread. No event or party is complete without it on your table. You don't think about your roof very often, but you should never take it for granted. Roofing Service Company takes every measure to provide you with the highest quality roofing solution. Whether it's a new roof installation, roof repair, or a re-roofing project, their overall goal is to provide you with a pleasant experience and a long-lasting roof. If you have a need for siding or gutters, they're your place too. Visit roofingservicecompany.com for more info today. Hey, Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Load up on meat and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havre. 
This week's special through April 9th is buy one, get one free on 8-ounce flat iron steaks, limit four per visit. Also, $1.50 off all Bachan's Japanese barbecue sauces. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations at 84th and Havelock and 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America. This is Old School, sponsored by the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese. Broadcasting veteran Derek Pearson. When you find something that moves them, that makes them smile, celebrate. That's your task. That's your superpower. Nebraska Football Hall of Famer Jay Foreman. Life was a pass. It was tipped. It's picked off by Foreman. He's at the 15, 10, 5. He'll score! On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. What up? We're back. Jay Foreman, DP, Austin Norman, old school. We are in effect. We are brought to you by the Mercado, certified P. Matisse. Special ingredients of Butcher Shop, 84th and Havelock, 30s and Yankee Hill. Again, we had a little quick trivia. What was Coach Cal's record at UMass? How many wins? Huh? Very easy. You could use Google. And then DP wanted to know who is the trivia question of the decade. <laughs> The coach that gets omitted, the coach that gets glossed over at the great University of Kentucky. Do we have any winners? Yeah, we did. Got that one. We did. We did. We had Wooden. Let me see. Rick Patino. Where mm-hmm. is it? It was this dude. Yeah. 2939. Uh-huh. Oh, what do you say? Yeah. Billy Gillespie. 2007 yeah, 2009. Man, that is a, that is a great trivia question. That 2007 is, to 2000. For the easiest trivia question led by led, led to you by Google, you could easily get four tickets to what is this the Supernovas? Uh those stars. Oh, the four stars. four stars tickets. It's the final home game regular season home game, so, yeah. you know. Four easy tickets. Find your way. Find your way. We'll easy. give away some Supernova tickets. Today. Easy, man. It's uh lot of stuff going on obviously in college sports and obviously this is going to probably take over the rest of the week until Number one, Coach Cal is uh, in Fayetteville. Yeah, I just can't. I mean, the Italian Italian stallion, smooth operator, clean as a whistle. I mean, the I don't know how much the suit costs, but just dapper Don. He reminds me of Teflon Don. I can't see him doing the woe pig suit or woo pig suit. Correct. I can't. I I think Correct. that might be the hangup for Cal. You know. Yeah. You think you can? Yes. Now, think how much that man's getting paid. He's good friends with the boosters. He's he will do anything yeah, for their money. He's, 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 he's been in the South. He's been in the South, but he's way. You mass John Calipari? Absolutely not. Kentucky John Calipari? That's I just think he's too cool to be like, woo, pig suey. He'll do it better than Dana. <sighs> Dana yeah. When Dana did it, it looked like, I got to get out of here. Here's the interesting thing. Like, so I just, if you think that PA and New Jersey have become the meccas and the hubs for college coaches, college basketball coaches. Because Calipari is like, like Youngstown Calipari, and football coach. Yep, Calipari, Jay Wright, Hurley's, that New Jersey pipeline is the thing. That New Jersey, P- Pennsylvania pipeline. Everything else is so expensive out there. You ain't got. You better stay in the gym. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 listen. listen that's, that that yeah, was the football factor for there. a long time. Yeah, it was. I mean, it's. You look, you go on a good run of coaches, a great coaches. You got to appreciate what you got. And now we're going to see where, where they're at. And I think it's also timing when people come to places to make them great coaches. I think Dan Hurley having the opportunity after Kevin Ollie, you know, he had some NCAA troubles. Look, if they, if they didn't get into those recruiting violations or whatever, Kevin Ollie was actually, it it proved that he was wrongfully terminated because he got paid back from uh, university of Connecticut. And maybe they felt like it was kind of like with this, he won a national title. They, they did him like Mel Tucker, like, all right, let's, you know, we probably paid you too much. The timing is everything. Dan Hurley went to Seton Hall, did have some success, was able to go and take a chance on UConn before they went to the the depths of hell, like I like to say. And then it's worked out because he's been able to do his thing with the blessing of Jim Calhoun. And then other coaches like Coach Cal, you got to think for him. UMass, then he goes to New Jersey Nets, kind of flames out. And then he comes back and he and he has an upstart program in Memphis. And this is what I've been thinking about this during the break. If you can survive in Memphis, coach, yeah. you can go yeah. to Fayetteville. Yeah, there's so a, that there's, means he can go anywhere. There, there, there's some yeah. truth to that. Yeah, so there's I think so I think it's a, it, as much as I've been telling myself it's not a good fit or it won't work. I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna work because he's been 
into places like that. So it's it's going to be interesting to see how it goes and, and who ends up in Lexington. And there's some second and third generation ba- Arkansas basketball talent that will return uh, to Calipari in Arkansas. Well, well, you got to think Nolan Richardson will will that'll be the blessing from him. Mm-hmm. They've battled each other, they know each other. They and Calipari has a ton of respect for him, and, and vice versa. Um, so that won't be a problem. And the great thing about it, then you think about Corliss Williamson, who's an executive in the NBA, and those guys, Scotty Thurman, Beck, and all those guys. I wonder if we're going to get a little bit of Oliver Miller sighting. All those guys be it, you know, welcoming him back to the Arkansas basketball family. I think if if he does that. Yep along with some of the other players that have done really well, I think his transition would be pretty good. So yep. uh, I agree, you know, and, uh, but you know, I wanted to get your guys uh opinion. Uh, yesterday it was buried, obviously with, uh, John Calipari leaving Kentucky, going to Arkansas, Nebraska after losing, essentially, it seems like 85% of the roster had like three guys left. Got one of the bigger names in the transfer portal from North, North Dakota state, six, 10 ish. Um, well, well-rounded player, kind of a you know three-level score, bring some physicality there to match up good with Rink Mass. Mm-hmm. What's your thought about Nebraska or Fred Hoiberg's first transfer portal commit in this early transfer portal or you know cycle? I was intrigued that he was the first choice because that that's one seems too coincidental, too quick for it to be not on purpose. And if that's the statement move that you need that type of player, 12 and 12 and six guy, right. Um, and then style of play. Who, who are you losing? Who, who, uh, who you're are losing, you losing? You're losing case. Doesn't fit there. No, you're losing you Josiah lose. Alec, but also you also realize what you don't have is a guy that can clean up the boards on aisle three. Stretch shooting big, right? Can can shoot the corner three, right. but he but he'll mix it up though. Slam dunk finisher. He's yeah. not a, he's not a European big. No, he's a big. He, 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 he'll he'll do he'll do it all. I I would say that he was he was goggles what they thought goggles was that he was going to be an athletic finisher. Three rebound def- defense. Yeah, without but, the I chaos. Mean, it, well, well, goggles, without the chaos. Well, goggles though. We see this guy is proven. Goggles is what we thought. I think with this guy here, I think he gives you a little bit of more versatility. I think that I think that Texas A and M game might have been a wake up call, where you can kind of provide a little high low action. I think that's where Nebraska was at their best uh, offensively, and everything can work off of that. I think it takes the pressure off of rank mass of carrying the load. He was a point center at the end of the season. Um, good decision maker out of it when they run their wheel action, but then also you're, you get a guy that can score inside and then rank mass has an advantage of maybe a forward instead of a center. He can go outside and start hitting some threes. I view Andrew Morgan as a great middle ground between Josiah Alec and rank mass. Yes. I, I think he's, pretty well in between those two guys doesn't pass as well as rank shoots a little better than Josiah from all over the floor. Um, the North Dakota state used him in some, some high pick and roll. Yeah. Like we saw a little bit with rank mast, but he also rolled quite a bit as well. He's got more juice than I anticipated. Nebraska yeah. hasn't had a guy that can grab a rebound between two others, and then go up and dunk the thing. Yeah. Andrew Morgan did that multiple times. So I think he's got the, the Alec burst, if not the positional versatility on the perimeter defensively, and maybe not as good a shooter as Rink, but good enough that you can afford to give Rink some minutes and feel okay with him there. You know, I, I think what I was being 6'10, 245, I like that though. And having the explosiveness of what you've been maybe missing at times. And, you know, he's got some length as well, you know, as far as arms and ability to, to affect shots. I think it gives you more flexibility. Now you're, it's going to be interesting to see what they do to replace Jamarcus Lawrence. Um, CJ and obviously Kase obviously is, is, is going to be by committee, but you're going to have to have guys step up and you're going to have to continue to, to hit the portal because, um, you know, you got some freshmen coming in, but you can't expect them to come in right into the big 10 and, and be apples to apples with, with, uh, with Kase and his production. And then CJ, you know, from his leadership and Jamarcus Lawrence was, was a lot of potential. So 
you know, that's the first one. It was a big one to get because you, it was kind of a little bit of a slow moving. Um, you know, they, but they still got to be active, and and I'm sure they are. It's, it's just a little bit tough sledding right now. I think when big decisions are made outside of your region, it does slow down the process a little bit because college basketball has to settle down because it's not just Calipari going to Arkansas. It's who ends up at Kentucky. Where did they come from, and then who goes there? It's like a domino. So until the dominoes start to slow down, and uh, you know Nebraska, you know, might be in a little bit of a pause, but I still think they're going to hit the, the the recruiting path pretty hard. I do too, and that's where I, I'm curious to see if this is the big swing for Nebraska, or if this is just the first guy that committed. Because Strick and I have talked about this, and I'd love your guys' opinion on this too. Nebraska needs a true difference maker, right? Maybe they have it on the roster in, in Bryce Williams, the guy that can take over a game. I, I don't necessarily see that out of Andrew Morgan. I wouldn't be surprised if Nebraska has some oars in the water without to say bigger name, maybe, or maybe a guard of some sort in the portal that's just not ready to commit. So I right. think Andrew Morgan saw the fit was ready to go, but I would be shocked if he's the headlining addition. Yeah, like I said, he was the first one, which made me go, okay, um, even if you thought he was the ideal, the table setter, the standard for, from which you're working, uh, culturally, schematically, whatever, yeah, that he's the first one. Well, it, it, that tells me the deal was already done, and this had been purposeful. Yeah, and and but I also like that you know he has two years left. Now, everything goes right, it's only going to be a year. But if it does go right, then that's cool. Um, you know, you also got to think, guys. You know, Fred Hoiberg is is made a habit. Now, this might just be coincidence of guys they played against. Williams played against Morgan. Terrence Reed is in the portal from Michigan. No, Austin, I'm just talking about they've seen him before. I mean, let's, you could have said Amori. I would, didn't get there. I why didn't, didn't you lead with him? Why? Why? It doesn't matter. I'm still just getting there. I'm working <laughs> right, through I'll the pump, process. I'll pump my brakes, James. Sorry. But all I'm saying is, that, do you think their next get could be somebody they've seen before? That gives you the best. Well, number one, they scouted him before. Before and after the game, right? You scout, pre-scout him. See if it came to fruition. Does it somebody they like? You've done your homework on them. You feel like you know a little bit more about them versus somebody you're saying, okay, well, he's a, he's a great player at whatever school he was at. Will he be somebody that's good here? You don't know that. Does this close the door on a William Kyle? Does this open the door potentially for Frankie Fiddler? Are those some of the guys' local products? And how that can influence other players, you know, throughout the Big Ten as well. I think it, there's a lot of dominoes that Nebraska has in the water, just be interesting to see in the next seven to 10 days, how those start to come to fruition. Uh, Cause then you'll start to see this roster take shape. Yeah. I, I just, I, I found it. I always think transfer portal has to be about statement of who you are going to be. Listen, if you're shopping down, probably not the way to go. That means, to me, anybody that's brought in to this point, especially in this rotation of of the transfer portal, has to be a dude. Yeah, like uh, you're, you're trying. No, strike that. Should be a dude, right? Not has to be because you get what you what you get, right? But if this is the standard, while it wasn't a splash, it certainly wasn't just a pebble. Like I, you just threw a rocket and skipped a rock across the water. It wasn't a boulder that changes the the the, the yeah. Well, I think you know Morgan was highly ranked because we had the rankings, um, and he's he's well uh, thought of. I think also Sam Greasel, you know, coming from North Dakota State, obviously, I think it probably made it a little bit of an easier process as well. Um, you know, I think when you go into the portal, you, you know, you got to make sure you know Fred and those guys have done a good job of identifying what they're kind of player they are want versus all right let's go get an AU team we've seen that before so you got to make sure that they you potentially going to fit now you got to get some pieces in there that are going to bring some instant impact but then also stability to obviously your guard position do you change something to where you go to a true point guard or do you continue along the process of developing maybe well according to him Bryce Williams as that kind of point forward six seven point guard is that what you go back to so it's it's also philosophy I wouldn't say change, but adjustment or to something that you continue 
to work towards because Bryce Williams before the game against Texas A&M said that's what they've kind of been working towards and he said I'm the I'm a point guard. Texas A&M had a little bit different idea about that but uh, but it's also you know one uh, just a snapshot of what potentially could be. So I think it's all good. I think college basketball is, is starting to get into, is will start to get exciting as far as this, where the, these players go and what they do. Be just interesting in how this rest sh- shakes out for for a team on the upswing, or at least this year, at least Nebraska, how it affects them in a positive way coming off an NC tur- tournament, you know, bid. So hopefully it works out well. I think it'll work out well. I like I like what they they did last year, and hopefully they can uh, replace some pieces that have been around for a while. And um, you know, look, sometimes you know this is a part of the business. It's the business, and so as business goes, business got to keep going on. So with that being said. Jay Foreman, DP, we're going to come back, talk a little spring football, um, maybe some quotes today. Had a, they're in the third week. This is the most crucial week here. Is this the third week out of five? How many weeks do they go into spring ball? Is it well, spring games is 27, so that's the end. Didn't get 15 so, practices. So then they got another week, too. Yeah. But this is the week. You're right in the middle. You, you, you The excitement of hitting it is over. It's nice to, to get tired of seeing the same faces, hitting, ramming the same people. Can you concentrate longer and harder than your opponent? So, anyways, Jay Foreman, DP, Austin Orman, we'll be right back. Watch Old School Live on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. Old School with DP and Jay on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. Restock your emergency kit. Update your info with LES, and if you encounter an outage, report it at LES.com slash report. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in work and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402-590-5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors and more. Constructors is now hiring for all positions with laborers starting at $23 and up based on experience. Constructors has immediate job openings for laborers, mechanics, bridge builders, operators, and drivers. Start your new career today. Constructors offers great pay, health, dental and vision insurance, paid time off, paid holidays, and so much more. Join the crew today and be a part of Nebraska's oldest paving company dating back to 1908. For a complete list of openings and to apply online, visit ConstructorsLincoln.com. Spring is here. It's time to get back outside and into proper shoes this year. Brown Shoe Fit is the place to buy this spring with their sale on athletic shoes. Get $15 off any regular price athletic shoes with respected brands like Hoka, Brooks, New Balance, and On Running. And don't forget, Browns carries a large arrangement of sizes and widths to fit your feet properly. Start your spring off right at Brown Shoe Fit, just south of 66 and Q in Lincoln. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Cobble Chevrolet GMC, and our annual spring sales event is now underway. We have absolutely huge savings right now at Cobble. New Sierras and new Silverados have a double whammy. Choose from APR starting at 1.9% or discounts over 9,000. Yes, that's right, 1.9% APR or discounts of over 9,000. So please take that short money-saving drive down 144th Street just south of the interstate or check us out online at CoppleCars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with approved credit wall-to-wall wine and spirits is now open in lincoln shop our expansive collection of wine beer spirits and cigars at 5040 north 27th street from top shelf liquor to crowd favorite beer wall-to-wall wine and spirits has a beverage for every taste and every budget plus join our loyalty program to earn rewards and save on future purchases shop wall-to-wall wine and spirits at 5040 north 27th street in lincoln That's 5040 North 27th Street. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. At Doan University, we build leaders. And that means your success and achievements come first. 
At Doan University, your future is uniquely yours. And our world-class liberal arts education is just the beginning. We invite you to schedule your campus visit and experience why Doan University will start you on your journey to your future career. Learn more by scheduling your personal campus visit today at doan.edu slash visit. See you soon. Are you tired of living in pain? It's time to take control. At Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery, we're your one-stop shop for expert care in Lincoln. From broken bones to complex reconstruction, our skilled team will help you get back on track. Visit prairieortho.com today and discover why we're the trusted choice for thousands of patients. Don't let pain hold you back. Take the first step towards a better pain-free life with Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery where healing begins. Call 402-489-4700. Rain, snow, or shine, John Henry's is here to keep your home's plumbing systems working properly no matter what kind of weather Nebraska throws at us. From unclogging toilets and drains to installing new water heaters and water treatment systems, John Henry's is your plumbing expert in the Lincoln and Omaha communities. Visit us at calljh.com or call John Henry's. 435-5555, John Henry's Plumbing, heating and air. And electrical. Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home, and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. High schoolers, unleash your creativity and learn about potential careers in broadcasting at the Digital Expressions Media Camp. Have fun, make friends, and get hands-on experience with video and radio production June 9th through the 14th at the University of Nebraska at Kearney. Scholarships are available from the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and spots are limited. Learn more at digitalexpressionscamp.com. That's digitalexpressionscamp.com. Back to Old School with DP and J on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. We're back, Jay Foreman, DP, Austin Orman. Middle of the 5 o'clock hour, pushing to the 6 o'clock hour on this beautiful Tuesday. See the streets starting to get active here at 1040 O Street. DP, you missed it out. Missed it, man. You were gone. I saw one of the most amazing feats in mankind. Uh-oh. I saw a man that was what Austin probably five foot four, correct? Mm, one forty, one fifty. One forty, one fifty. Boot up to a big eighteen wheeler and look it up and down. So how dare you be in my crosswalk? <laughs> then fifteen minutes later, I saw a man walk across. We got it actually on the on the uh, fan on the, cam. On the, on on the fan cam. cam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Walk across there. And take a smooth Chrysler 300 nudge and keep it moving without a limp. I got places to go, things to do. He got bumped and just kept it moving. Yeah, I guess they got things didn't, to do. Didn't, hey, no hitching his giddy up, no quickness. Yeah. Well, he's not in front of him. He got yeah, down the yeah, street. Yeah, he's down the street. He, he, he walked back, <laughs> he he walked the back there and he's like, yeah, that kind of hurt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was it delayed onset? Pain? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, so we got that. Well, but with, uh, that being said, uh, DP, we're in the middle, probably, the, I guess, the middle part of spring ball, maybe, I guess, whatever. I would say this is the this is where you see who's not, uh, who's really, who's not motivated, but more disciplined. Everybody, I, this is, I always try to explain to my basketball players, everybody's motivated when basketball season starts or when, in this case, spring and summer starts or fall back, whatever it is, just no different than spring training DP or, you know, off season for football. Everybody's motivated then. Yeah. Everybody's motivated at the be- beginning of spring. But do you have the discipline and the want to, to be the best that you can be? And that's what separates people. And people don't understand the difference between motivation and di- discipline. And it's very simple for me to say motivation is temporary. Discipline is long term. Everybody's motivated when you come out of the tunnel, got the interest in the crowd's going crazy. But do you have the discipline in the second, third, or fourth quarter, or you know, 
in baseball and a do you have the discipline to take a pitch at three one or whatever you're you practice are supposed to practice on or anything like that? Do you have the discipline to have the same routine when you have success? Do you have the discipline to have the same routine that you know successful when you haven't been successful? That's what's going to separate, you know, the good from the average and uh, the great from the good. And, you know, more times you can get more of the, the, the uh, previous, which is great. Um, getting guys to elevate to, to from good to great. That's where you're able to, uh, you know, win some games. So now they're in the middle of it. It's going to be interesting to see how it shakes out. Nothing will be really probably set, but practice habits are practice habits. Well, I mean, well, how you work is such an internally processed thing. Like, it's not the same for anybody. Farley was talking about today that, you know, there was a moment where uh, in, in ones versus one, he gets to the hole. And on the other side coming at him is that that LP dude. And, again, Farley's one of the best to ever do it here. But he said things slowed down for him so much that he could literally hear LP grinding his teeth as he entered the hole. And Farley said, yeah, I have to make a decision here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. You got to make a business decision. I got to make it. a decision here that I can let him talk about me or I can I can step up in here. Farley said, I considered falling. Like something tripped me. Look at the <laughs> it, well, that, that's, <laughs> that's, the, that's the ultimate, oh, man, the turf monster got me. So he you, he the, said, yeah. I, I also considered jumping on his back. <laughs> yeah. Ultimately, he chose to just make the football play and take whatever came with it. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the, that commitment you talk that's about. The, that's the commitment. That's the discipline. And <laughs> and with discipline, you have to be willing to take some lumps. You have to be willing to uh, put yourself out there because that's the only you have to. That's the discipline is not just showing up and doing the same thing. And and you know, like Mike Tyson says, make things that you don't like doing uh, look like you love it. But it's discipline to understand that every play, you have to have a learning experience. You have to be disciplined enough to say, you know what? The result's going to be the result. But I know the result <laughs> if I don't participate. It's that having, means I'm going to... LP's cleat marks up yeah, all, all up your yeah, chest. That. <laughs> then if, then if, you, then if you, you make a business decision and, and, and dodge, then you're going to be talked about for umpteen months. Yeah. And the thing is, then you're going to lose respect, and respect lasts forever. And some guys are respected, some guys are quote unquote tolerated, and it did all, and that all comes down to what you do on a day to day basis. And so when you're in the when we used to have a spring ball, you know, it would separate the guys that would say they were tough and the guys that weren't, because you got to be tough and tough minded to go out there and answer the bell every day, because it's not an easy job, man. I mean. Especially in the spring, there's there's one payoff. There like, is no like, payoff. Like, well, you, you finally on you know the twenty seventh. Oh, oh yeah, sure. On yeah, the twenty seventh, yeah. you get to run. You get to put on the, the pads. And you get to run out of the tunnel, and there's seventy to eighty thousand people going in crazy. There. Yeah, and it's a chance for you to step up your game and be elevated, et cetera. But the reality is, nobody. You don't have the full coverage. Folks on TV aren't talking about it at at nauseum, right? Mm -hmm. We talk about it a little bit, but. Yeah, like the payoff, you know that you've got a mattress to fall on. Oh, it doesn't go well for me April 27th. I got all, all summer. I got all summer. Mm -hmm. So that, that thing that you talk about, again, it that commitment, that you said motivation is temporary, you got to have that character. For yeah, you. I mean, it's, it's in you. You know, the, it get, it, it, the spring is it's far enough from away from the season. You're like, okay, I have a second chance. But the tricky, the tricky thing about the spring is if you don't treat spring as a place to get better yeah. or a place to where I got to continue to improve myself and prove myself, or there's a reason why I'm doing it, it you know, method to the madness, whatever you want to do, I'm gonna be, I can become a better leader because I can pay it forward and help some of the younger guys. But then also I want to, you know, prove my dominance at a certain, whatever it is, or, and it could be multitude of things. It will catch up to you. And it always does, right? Well, Coach Osborne used to tell us, listen, we're going to win our first four games in winter condition in spring ball. And trust me, we was training like it. We was practicing like it. 
And then we're going to really, in the middle of the summer, we're going to crank up our, our, our work and we're going to do that. And then we're going to continue along the season. And towards the end of the season, we're going to be more physical and fresher. And it takes a huge commitment because you got to have the discipline in the middle of the spring when the ambiance of I just put the pads on, I had a, I look good in the weight room, I'm sore, I got to go in there, we got pads on or we don't have pads on, we're going to have some contact, practice is hard. Did I do enough? Did I get enough rest on the weekend? Now I might have lost a little bit. To step up again on a Tuesday, probably the hottest day of the spring, and stay focused. And well, well the, the, the Coach Bird likes to talk about it with the with the Supernovas, that, that, that day-to-day practice competition. This is how she knew she chose right, that her, her talent radar was right. It was the internal talent rather than the physical talent. Internal people were trying to figure out how to beat people who were just as good as they were. Right. They weren't there to take advantage of the people that they're better than. They weren't there to coast. It was Farley in the in the in the hole looking at LP, looking at the GOAT, and making the decision that not only actually in it, the way he described it. Did he say he won? It wasn't a decision. He said it was I just had to. But did he say he won? No. He said he took an L. He he, he said, "Dang, Farley." He he, he he took he took an L. He he took well in his mind he took he won. He took an L. He won. No, he in his mind, like he made the play. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't don't pretty. Look, yeah, it don't matter. It wasn't how it pretty. It wasn't like he 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 talked about that 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 you as a, a group hated the idea of giving up a yard to that oh, offense. No. It, oh no, like oh, that no. that is such a st- that is such a high standard. Hey, we don't accept BS place, from anybody, right? That we don't want the best, the most important offense in the country to get a yard on us, let alone anything else. He also talked about the fact that y'all put Tommy on the ground, like there was not a thump free uh, Tommy Frazier practice thing going on. That no, for the most part, yeah, yeah, you got you got to take these licks, man. We got to we we got to get you prepared. But T. Frazier had a, he had a quick whistle though, yeah. Listen, yeah. man, you might hit him. T. Fra- the thing about T. Frage, he must have been told, like, when he wasn't going to hit, that's when he's going to talk the most junk because we would try to chase him and then the whistle would be pretty quick. But that was just part of the toughness that we had where it's like, you're going to you're gonna be involved in the run game. You got to be able to harden your body for hits. And obviously we knew that, we, you know, we need to take care of him, no cheap shots or anything like that. So, I mean, it's a different time, but, you know, as far as football and the rules and the the dynamics of the team, but I still think you can find ways to bring that out of each player, each team, each position group, each practice, because it comes, it's great when you're getting recruited. It's great that when you're here and you get a lot of things that are here, but ultimately you're here to play football and play to your best ability. And if you're trying to play football to your best ability, I would hope just naturally the competitiveness would come out that you just want to be your best because if everybody wants to be their best, you're going to have a pretty salty team. You can't just go through the motions. And there's days that Farley would tell you, we didn't, we didn't feel it. We didn't have it. We didn't have the juice, but you got to have good guys around you that bring it out of you or demand it out of you. And it's all at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how they do it. If they bring it out of you, you know, I like to say massage it out of you. They're kind of like all warm and fuzzy. You kind of got to talk them into doing it or, get them to do something that they think they're not capable of, or you got to demand it. And there's different ways about it. I mean, you know, playing with Jason and Christian, they would do both. You know, Christian, you know, came up to me. He's like, man, you know what? I heard you're pretty good, but, you know, you got you to hit the weight room. Now, I never lifted weights before. I mean, that's obviously was a no. But a guy that's starting came and told me that it was kind of like putting my arm around it, like get mm-hmm. it going. Mm-hmm. But then once I got out there in the game, Phil Ellis was like, look, man, Practice is over. You can't be messing up. And so that's the way it was. And, um, you know, it, it it was one of the things that, uh, you know, we needed to do to, to to get the best out of each other. So if you get that true organic leadership, I think it, it helps the team grow. And this is what the spring is about, man. It's, it's, I mean, I'm sure people got articles to write, gossip to start, and all that. But they got to grind this bad boy out. They got to really, really sharpen their knife they they got to bring you know every day you have got to kind of find a way to crank it up is is spring a player driven vacuum of football or is that coaches pushing players beyond what coach what what players think is natural and comfort to them it's both 
It's both. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know, one thing I think I read where the players are, you know, kind of taking the leadership and ownership of the team and, and stuff like that. I think it's both. I mean, I think with our team, when we played, we were player driven, but we also never wanted to let the coaches down. So as hard as we work in, in, in the way that we pushed each other, I'd like to think it helped the coaches do their job a little bit more efficiently. But then also there was days that where the defense was garbage, where we were getting ran through. But we also knew that coach, listen, coach McBride would get it cracking quick. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you would find some energy somewhere. Um, whether it was a gator lights that we had or, or, or sphincter muscle getting tight, we're going to do our thing. Got to go. And same thing with the offense. There was times that we got after them. They just, I mean, you know, Vashon, I tell you, there's ways that, you know, times you had to start practice over and so forth and so on, but that's just part of football. But it, it spring is a time to test yourself in a unique schedule because it's every other day. So you're not getting in a rhythm. So you can't afford a day off. There is no practice 12 I can get. Once you hit number 20, that's a long, so April 27th, and let's just say you don't start to July 27th, even mm-hmm. though you start after that, right? Yeah. yeah. That's April to May, May to June, June to last. That's 90 days to to really think about what you maybe not accomplished versus what you should have. Get it together, boys. Get it together. And then on top of it, the competition is really good that you got to expect. If I'm competing against you two, I got to expect you two to get better. But then guess what else has to happen? We're in a linebacker room. We got to expect the offensive groups that we're going to play against, even though we maybe played against them last year, we got to expect them to get better. And to have the conversation, right? That in the locker room, like, listen, Jay, I, I know you had a rough day yesterday. Today going to be worse, bro. Like, I'm I'm going to bring it to you. Right. That yeah. Those conversations carry spring football. Oh, the, the best. <laughs> like, Indiana I'm sorry, bro. Care. I got to take your job. No, like, I'm not sorry. Indiana don't care. Right. So guess what? When we win this game, say we beat UTEP, right? Uh, we will beat UTEP. Nobody's going to go back and say, you know what? Winning this game wasn't worth the hard work that we did in spring. Yeah. What what could happen is if a player or a team or whatever doesn't reach their goals, you'd be like, you know what? Maybe we should have, you know, or whatever. So you want to li- you want to eliminate a lot of doubt and regret by putting in the work here and you have to have find different things to say, listen, you know, and I'm sure they do things like keep stats and practice and all that. You know, if we want to get, we want to be, if we want to be a dominant third and eight to 12 team, whatever, you know, whatever it may be. Well, then that's where we got to find the extra juice, right? Whatever you were deficient at that as a player, as a group, right? Yeah. Maybe we need more sacks from our, whatever you know whatever okay well this is this is it because those are the things that you gotta you gotta draw back on when you're trying to win championship and you're trying to reestablish yourself because and and it tells the story of how nebraska is going to coach april to september because when they see all the things either they know what we're good at hey Mm -hmm. we or maybe we thought we were good at a thing that we're not oh yeah okay you need to step up receivers need to be better Oh, internal line play. Hey, our communication's off. Uh, our audibles aren't clear. Um, communication on defense needs to be better. We need to start anticipating the call or in- anticipating the check. That's when you really, you know, are like what I like to say, you're cooking with peanut oil. And my favorite gamers, finding gamers, people who show up. What's the, I, you know what? When we go to break, I want you to define what a gamer I always never, uh, I don't know what a gamer is. Oh. Uh, Cause I ain't never played with uh, green. That's a gamer. <laughs> I want to. I want to know what a gamer is. I, go to break. I, I, We're I gonna go that. to break yeah. and give me by definition. Yeah. So when I see one yep. or hear one, I'm like, okay, maybe I played with a gamer. Yeah. J Foreman, DP, Austin Norman. We'll be right back. You're listening to Old School with DP and J. Download the mobile app and listen wherever you are on 937 The Ticket and the Ticketfm.com. Wall to Wall Wine and Spirits is now open in Lincoln. Shop our expansive collection of wine, beer, spirits, and cigars at 5040 North 27th Street. 
From top shelf liquor to crowd favorite beer, Wall to Wall Wine and Spirits has a beverage for every taste and every budget. Plus, join our loyalty program to earn rewards and save on future purchases. Shop Wall to Wall Wine and Spirits at 5040 North 27th Street in Lincoln. That's 5040 North 27th Street. Where will your path take you, traveler? To seek fortune in a new career? Or on a journey to distant lands for a well-deserved vacation? Wherever you go, one distraction could spell disaster. You can change your fate, adventurer. Don't drive distracted. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Spring is here. It's time to get back outside and into proper shoes this year. Brown Shoe Fit is the place to buy this spring with their sale on athletic shoes. Get $15 off any regular price athletic shoes with respected brands like Hoka, Brooks, New Balance, and On Running. And don't forget, Brown's carries a large arrangement of sizes and widths to fit your feet properly. Start your spring off right at Brown Shoe Fit, just south of 66 and Q in Lincoln. Community means something different to everyone, but for me, it means cheering on those around you during the good times and helping them out during the tough times. I'm softball player Jordy Ball, and I've been blessed with the support of my friends, family, coaches, and community throughout my life. When looking for a bank to call home, it was easy to choose Midwest Bank. I never feel like just another customer, and they're proud to support their communities. They love what they do, and it shows. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Empower a child today with the Teammates Mentoring Program. Hope is only a conversation away when you choose to share your talent, time, and heart with a child. Together, you can build a relationship based on strengths and chart a brighter future one week at a time. Find out how you can be a mentor by visiting LincolnTeammates.org. Become what you needed as a kid by joining the Teammates Mentoring Program today. Banking should feel personal, not intimidating. At Western National Bank, we're about real connections founded by two ordinary guys with an extraordinary vision to know each and every customer personally. Fees, they suck. Avoid all fees with Western National Bank's Compass Checking Account. No monthly fees, no minimum balances, and get this, 5.12 APY on the first $1,000. Open your Compass Checking Account online in five minutes or less at mywnb.com. Experience the difference with Western National Bank. Visit mywnb.com, member FDIC. Spring is a time of new beginnings and trying new things. If you haven't tried Fear's Cheese Spread yet, the time is now. For parties for St. Patrick's Day and Easter or celebrating the NCAA tournament with friends, there's no better dip to bring everyone together and celebrate something from Nebraska. Get to your local grocery store today and load up on Fear's Cheese Spread. No event or party is complete without it on your table. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Spring is here and it's time to wake up Judson. Judson Irrigation is eager and ready to get your sprinkler system up and running for the season. Judson's technicians will check for winter damage, adjust your sprinkler heads, and show you how to set your controller for effective sprinkling coverage. The Judson Irrigation team is here for you. Stay safe. Keep summer green. Call Judson Irrigation, 402-420-6277 or judsonirrigation.com. Hello? Hello? Believe it or not, old phones are one of the most common pain points in offices today. Many of these phones are beyond repair because parts aren't available to fix outdated devices. Whether it's a traditional phone system or cloud-based VOIP technology, Hamilton Business Phones can help upgrade your connection. We make it easy to sync your office phone with yourself for seamless call handling, no matter where you work. If your current office phone can't do this, you deserve better. Hire your local experts. Hire Hamilton at hamiltonisbusiness.com. Hi, I'm Senator Bo Ballard. I was born and raised in Lancaster County, learning the value of hard work and grit at a young age. I built my own company, creating jobs right here in our community. I know that families and businesses in our community need lower taxes, lower cost of health care, and a great education. 
That's why as your senator, I helped pass the largest task and made the most significant investment in education in Nebraska history and worked to reduce the cost of health care. I'm Senator Bo Ballard, and I humbly ask for your vote on May 14th. Paid for by Ballard for Nebraska. Back to old school with DP and J on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. What up, Jay Foreman, DP, Austin Orman? Question of the day is, what is a gamer? Yeah. Yeah. So this was, this was, and there's several people that come to mind about gamers, but there was one that was, that played for me. And he was, he was an elite level defender. Um, middle linebacker led the state of Virginia in tackles, the whole shebang. Um, but we, one day he jumped in the offensive huddle and I had heard whispers of him as a running back when he little league. but of course that's always the one you just kind of give the side eye and roll your eyes and go out of here. Six foot white dude, 160 pounds, probably ran a four, seven, 40 or seven. Mm-hmm. Um, not exceptional, right? Look at Austin, right? You, you know, that lane, right? You, you know, the lane I'm talking about, <laughs> right? We put him in, and he went. Uh, he went three for three for eighty. Yeah, and I was like, "What? What just happened?" And it was the difference. High IQ players, one, and I think gamers have to be high IQ, high high motor. That whatever you ask him to do in a game, he was going to do. And he said the difference for him was he moved at a higher speed when he was being chased rather than when he was the chaser. He said, mm. having as as the quote the quote, <laughs> coach and brothers after me. Yeah. <laughs> and so it, it, I understood it. He worked hard as hard defensively as anybody I've ever coached. This right. is this is a young man that ended up at the Naval Academy, he played there, is now leadership at the Naval Academy. So like so for me, my definition of a gamer, a guy that they call like a gamer is a person that practices one way. And is known to play at two or three levels higher than they normally do. That that if by so, that definition, I am a gamer. I was a gamer. So you by, was chilling by, in practice. Yeah. Well, one because there were things that came natural for me that wasn't work. If I was running against Jay Foreman, oh, that's a different deal. Oh, I need to get this dude. Yeah. I expected to get Austin. I, (laughs) right. But I also knew I was practicing against Austin. I wasn't practicing against Jay Foreman. Yeah. I knew I was playing against Jay Foreman. I was so much better in games than I was at practice. Like, and and it's not even close. Mm. Not even close. Yeah, man. You've been in trouble here, though. I, that's yeah, why I wasn't here. Yeah, you've been in trouble. That's bro. why I wasn't here. Because <laughs> Coach Solis, Coach Brown, listen. That, that's why we I wasn't here. They what? getting in the body. Look, yeah. I didn't say it was a, it was a, it was a good trait. I'm saying yeah. the difference. I think is there's a happy medium with some guys. I think if you have a whole bunch of them, it didn't. But I think certain guys just have just. But I would have been a great practice player for the Huskers because practicing running against y'all. Yeah. Oh, I'd have given y'all. Yeah, you'd have given y'all. Yeah, yeah, you would have gave Farley work. You wouldn't. Yeah, I'd have given y'all. That wouldn't have been happening over here. (laughs) I'd have given y'all. Anyway, (laughs) Jay Orbit, TV got to slide that in here. Uh, Austin Orbit, we'll holler at you. We'll be back tomorrow. Hey, Nebraska. Register today for the 40th annual Cornhusker State Games, taking place July 11th through the 21st in Lincoln, Omaha, and other Nebraska communities. The Cornhusker State Games features 70 sports for athletes of all ages and abilities. Price increases are approaching, so register early and save. For details, go to CornhuskerStateGames.com. Special thanks to Platinum Partner Farmers Mutual of Nebraska, delivering dependable insurance coverage for your auto, farm, and home for over 130 years. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska, always alongside you. Load up on meat and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havre. 
This week's special through April 9th is buy one, get one free on 8-ounce flat iron steaks, limit four per visit. Also, 